Amid the shards of a shattered universe, between the splinters of worlds and the sawdust of dreams, only one 15-year-old boy with the voice of a 30-year-old man holds the key. Literally. Will you step forward and into the yellow clown shoes of he who would unlock destiny? Whatever your answer, I beg you, do not read any reviews of Kingdom Hearts 3. Hello, I'm Tim Rogers. You are watching a Kotaku.com special report. For the next several minutes, I humbly request that you indulge me while I explain how and why I believe that Kingdom Hearts 3 is history's first unreviewable video game. First, I speak to longtime series fans. I have seen you on internet forums. I have seen your devotion to the Kingdom Hearts series. I am scared of you. Literally 96% of the time I spent writing this speech consisted of fact-checking. I know in my soul that a non-zero number of you will take offense to which of the three syllables of the series title I choose to emphasize. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Therefore, I promise to alternate my enunciation for the remainder of this presentation. In the interest of diffusing your discomfort, I declare that I do not know Kingdom Hearts as well as you do. I perhaps know more about 13th century Chinese historical literature than you do. Maybe I know more about 1920s murder mystery novels than you do. I probably know more about late 1970s Japanese pop music than you do. Trust me, I know and love several things the way you know and love Kingdom Hearts. I promise you I am no stranger to the pursuit of encyclopedic knowledge in one particular interest. I even know a lot about Kingdom Hearts. Having said that, I do not know as much as you do. I don't think any critic for any mainstream publication knows as much about Kingdom Hearts as you know about Kingdom Hearts. Therefore, I recommend you spare yourself the annoyance and avoid all reviews of Kingdom Hearts 3. I have seen you in YouTube comments. I know that reading a review is going to only cause you pain. You're going to want to point out every single factual inaccuracy. Any critic talking about Kingdom Hearts begins the exercise by standing in the middle of a minefield of potential factual inaccuracies. You might have already commented on this video to tell me that I was wrong when I said that Kingdom Hearts series primary protagonist Sora was 15 years years old, because Kingdom Hearts series director Tetsuya Nomura said in a recent interview that Sora is actually 16 years old during the events of Kingdom Hearts 3. I said he was 15 years old to bait you. I also said Sora was 15 years old to bait people into making joke comments which pretend to ignore this part of the video. I'm sure that when I look at the comments under this video I will see plenty of comments, and I will have no way of possibly knowing which of you are real Kingdom Hearts fans. This is just a tiny part of the huge logic problem that is Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts series fans, I sincerely apologize in advance. The more matter-of-factly I explain the plot of Kingdom Hearts, the more you're going to think I'm making fun of it. I'm sorry. Kingdom Hearts' story involves dark wizards wielding sword-sized key-shaped magic weapons. Mickey Mouse is a king. Teenagers struggle to maintain childhood friendships as a proverbial long summer comes to an end. Goo Goofy says Gorsh a lot. Love Kingdom Hearts as you may, you might do well to admit that making fun of the series comes easily. I made fun of it once. Kingdom Hearts strutted into my life astride a Shetland pony, and so I aimed low and scored a direct hit. I wrote a scathing review of Kingdom Hearts 2 upon the occasion of its release in Japan in December of 2005. If I recall correctly, my review was the first one published in the English language. I did this for the the hits. My review racked up 4 million views and 6,000 comments for my tiny little blog. I had never been so disingenuously brutal to a piece of entertainment in my life, nor have I been so brutal since. Now, 13 years later, I think back on the 6,000 loud comments beneath my pitiful little blog post, and I apologize. I only wanted the attention. Kingdom Hearts' reputation for convolution will always precede it. Many critics will see Kingdom Hearts 
three as an easy target for ridicule. I beg you to ignore them. Ignore them and listen to me. Kingdom Hearts is great. Professional game critics play hundreds of games per year. Whether a critic likes, loves, dislikes, or hates a game, they have to play it. Imagine your mom giving you Kingdom Hearts 3 one week before its release. Then she tells you you need to play it to 100% completion in two days, and then write a 3,000 word book report about it. Then, unless one million people read this book report you wrote, she is cutting you out of her will. This casts a sinister shadow over what should be a deliciously savory task. Furthermore, Kingdom Hearts possesses the density of a dozen less generous series of games. We cannot realistically expect expertise of every experiencer under serious critical circumstances. To avoid your deconstruction of their expertise, many of these critics will thus scrutinize Kingdom Hearts 3's quality of life elements. They will talk about the user interface. They will talk about the camera. They will calculate the frame rate. You will hate to see them discuss this game like it were a piece of meat. You will buy the game no matter how low the frame rate dips. For you, Kingdom Hearts 3 is not the new Smash. It is not this year's Madden. It is not a household appliance. It is more than a product. It is a work of meaningful significance. It is the massive next part of a sprawling story. Maybe your temptation to click on a review stems from the deepest, darkest part of your heart. That lurking, lingering, doubtful question that infects all game likers at one point or another. Is it good? In my own opinionated experience, the hallmark of Kingdom Hearts is its generosity. No other games positively burst with as many experiences, moods, and themes of as prismatic a variety as a Kingdom Hearts. The makers of Kingdom Hearts are more dedicated to Kingdom Hearts than any maker has ever been dedicated to the making of any game. It is absolutely impossible for the people who made Kingdom Hearts 2 to mess up Kingdom Hearts 3. You have been waiting 13 years to see the next part of Sora's story. You know you love Kingdom Hearts. Your love for the series is the only 10 out of 10 score that Kingdom Hearts 3 needs. If you bought in so far as Kingdom Hearts 2, you do not need to read a review. Now I want to talk to the first timers. The most important thing for you to know is that you should not be afraid. The second most important thing for you to know is that it is already too late for you to start getting ready for Kingdom Hearts 3. Using HowLongToBeat.com, I calculated it would take you 159 hours and 19 minutes to rush through the main story of each of the 11 major Kingdom Hearts games. This figure, for the record, presumes that you would experience Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2 via the 2 hours and 50 minutes of high-definition cutscenes, included in the theater mode of Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix. As of the earliest possible time for you to be hearing this message, Kingdom Hearts 3 releases in five and a half days plus 30 minutes. That is exactly 132.5 hours from now, or as I like to say, 265 hours over two. If we assume you work eight hours a day and sleep eight hours a day, that leaves you a maximum of eight hours each day to experience the Kingdom Hearts timeline as its creators intended. In the time between the arrival of this message and the release of Kingdom Hearts 3, you would only be able to experience 48 of the saga's 159 hours. That's only a little more than one-third. You could purchase Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix for your PlayStation 4 and rush through only Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2. According to HowLongToBeat.com, this would take you 52 hours and 30 minutes. By the time you finished Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts 3 would have already been out for four and a half hours. Thus, you forfeit your qualification as a true fan. Rather than play the games, you could opt to watch all 122 episodes of Everglow's Kingdom Hearts Timeline videos on YouTube at 2x speed. By the time Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, would you be excited? Or would you be burned out? Let's be realistic. You could watch one of the many Kingdom Hearts plot synopsis videos going around the internet. You could watch more than one of them. Or you could heed my advice. Be bold. Go in blind. Go in knowing nothing. Kingdom Hearts' reputation for convolution precedes it. Yet I would like to deliver unto you two somewhat conflicting permissions. First, that swimming in Kingdom Hearts' lore is an essential element of the experience. And second, that the story isn't 
isn't actually complicated, so much as it is dense, rich, lush, and luxurious. Don't be afraid if your first experience with Kingdom Hearts is a game released 17 years into the series. Playing these games out of story chronology order is part of playing them. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, first released in 2010, takes place 10 years before Kingdom Hearts 1, which was released in 2002. In 2010, series director Tetsuya Nomura described Birth by Sleep as an episode zero of the series. Yet, in 2013, with the release of Kingdom Hearts Key, which takes place 100 years before Kingdom Hearts 1, Nomura adjusted Birth by Sleep's placement to episode 0.1. In summary, being lost is an inextricable part of being an authentic fan. No one is going to call the cops on you if you play Kingdom Hearts 3 before playing Kingdom Hearts 1. Kingdom Hearts games concern a lineage of warrior wizards questing and fighting for the unity or salvation of a galaxy of interconnected worlds based on classic animated Disney films. If you have ever seen or heard of a classic animated Disney film, Kingdom Hearts thus contains either something you love or something you know. Maybe it contains many of both. Let these tiniest tokens of familiarity serve as your entry point to the series, the way Isabel from Animal Crossing's presence might have inspired you to achieve a competitive skill level at one of the most strategically complicated fighting games ever made. Even if Kingdom Hearts 3 will be your first Kingdom Hearts, you don't need to read a review. Look around you at the love of the series' long-time die-hard fans. The love these die-hard fans bear for the series likely attracts you to Kingdom Hearts in the first place. Trust their love and plunge into the cacophony of Kingdom Hearts without a clue. Now I speak to those unfamiliar. If you've never heard of Kingdom Hearts and find yourself brimming with curiosity, maybe you should start with Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts can concerns a cast of original characters battling between, under, and behind the scenes of worlds based on classic animated Disney films. In 2002, this story began with a recognizable teenage emotion. The primary protagonist, Sora, wanted to leave home and see the world. Since then, it has become a story which encompasses the very nature of all entertainment. Try thinking of it this way. I was there in the 1980s. I was on the playgrounds at recess. I was seven years old when I first heard one 11-year-old ask another 11-year-old if Pluto is a dog and Goofy is a dog. How come Goofy can talk? and Pluto can't. Later, it was the 1990s. I was 11 years old when I asked another 11-year-old, is Pluto like Goofy's son? To which the other 11-year-old replied, is Minnie Mouse Pluto's mom? Imagine if these two 11-year-olds had stood there on that basketball court in 1991 and continued this conversation uninterrupted for 28 years. That is Kingdom Hearts. Did you know Kingdom Hearts' makers originally planned Mickey Mouse as the protagonist? Then Tetsuya Nomura conceived of Sora. Tetsuya Nomura went on to conceive of dozens of original characters, so that their dialogues and dramas could glue together Disney Planet narratives into a legend that flowed. At times, Kingdom Hearts is more glue than material. The series has expanded throughout 17 years of its fans' scrutiny and its makers' creative desperation. Kingdom Hearts' is constant blossoming represents the purest, exquisite corpse in video game history. The Kingdom Hearts series is a slow-motion, time-lapse, noise-rock, performance art exhibition of video game development. In Kingdom Hearts, everything anyone ever enjoyed about fan fiction lives and breathes, turned up to 100% and beyond. Kingdom Hearts is storytelling as design, as storytelling, as design. I dare you to experience Kingdom Hearts 3 with a fresh mind, and if it hooks you, consider it a gateway to exploring the labyrinth of the rest of the series. Whatever you do, do not hate on people who like Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is video games. Mainstream entertainment today focuses on building cinematic universes of interconnected references, respecting the audience enough to trust them to remember who said what, to whom, when. In other words, entertainment today is Kingdom Hearts. In the cynical early 2000s, I said of Guitar Hero that players could just buy cheap guitars and start their own band. I meant this as earnest encouragement. If they floundered and flailed long 
long enough, eventually they could become legends. I also said back then in public of Kingdom Hearts 1 that rather than play it, players could just as easily write their own self-insert fanfiction about Disney princesses. I apologize for my past behavior. I was cynical. I was being a jerk. I sincerely promise I've grown up at least a little bit since then. To condemn Kingdom Hearts by comparing it to fan fiction is a perpetration of the worst sort of video game liker elitism. You see this in art criticism as well. Behind every expression of modern art looms the same tired conversation. One person says, I could have made this. The wiser other person says, well, you didn't. 17 tireless years after Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 3 is the product of the work of the people who did buy the guitars and did start the band. See the passion of the fans who salivate upon this crackling spectacle and either jump in along Inside them or leave them alone and talk about anything else. Kingdom Hearts 3 is therefore history's first unreviewable video game. In awe of its voluminous spectacle, I will respectfully abstain from writing a review, and I hope you will abstain from reading a review. I only ask that you go out there with responsibility and make the choice that's right for you and right for video games. I was born stupid. However, I I will not die hungry. Video games forever. Kotaku.com. Kono key blade wa mou tsukaenai. Dakara koko ni nokoshite iku yo. Mou hitori no ore no tame ni. I'm Tim Rogers, and I approve this message.